We're seeing and hearing police body camera video from a deadly confrontation in Anne Arundel County. So officers there say they shot a suspect as he refused to drop his gun and raised it in their direction. A warning, the sights and sounds are intense. Drop the weapon! Drop the weapon or we shot! Drop it now! Now that shooting in Harwood September 17th ended the life of 48-year-old Anthony Hopkins Sr., accused of attacking a woman and firing at officers who responded to a 911 call for help. And WJZ is live tonight. Annie Rose Ramos is in Harwood. Annie Rose, what are you hearing from investigators tonight? Well, Vic, back in September, police responded to this Harwood home in the middle of the night after a child called them, telling them that their father had walked outside into the woods with a gun and they were hearing gunshots. Vic, the moments you are about to see are what happens as police are responding to the scene. Drop that weapon right now! This is the moment a Maryland man is shot by police after walking out of the woods armed with a gun and refusing to put it down. The Maryland Attorney General's office releasing this police worn body camera video as they investigate how the situation escalated and why officers used deadly force in the shooting of Anthony Hopkins Sr. These officers had to defend themselves. 2 a.m. Saturday, September 17th, police got a call from a woman living on Sands Road. A female called in stating that her husband had strangled her. Moments later, another call to police, this time from a child, stating that his father had armed himself with a firearm and made his way to the outside of the home. He could not see his father, but that he could hear gunshots being fired. Police responding to the home, but before getting there... Shots left. Bullets hitting police cars, prompting officers to get out, pursuing the sounds on foot, looking for the suspect. There's a guy right there. There is? Yeah. Hey! County police! Come out! The suspect emerged from the woods armed with a firearm. Drop the gun! Hopkins ignoring commands, police then firing at him. His gun highlighted here being moved away as officers began rendering aid. Multiple shots, extremities. Hopkins was pronounced dead at the scene, but no officers were injured while responding. Responding to a very dangerous situation, being shot at and uh, unfortunately had to disarm the suspect in the only way that was possible. Now Maryland's Attorney General's office is continuing to investigate the case. As far as that woman goes who was involved in that domestic violence incident, she was treated at the hospital back in September and released. Reporting live, I'm Annie Rose Ramos for WJZ.